Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe sa ating YouTube channel at pakihit na rin yung notification bell para laging updated sa ating mga videos. So, we have your question. What is a discriminant? So, marahil na-encounter nyo na tong word na to in your mathematics life or subject. And let's start discussing discriminant. Discriminant of a quadratic equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero is represented by the expression b squared minus 4ac. So as you can see, yung ating formula, yung expression na gagamitin natin, ay quite familiar sa inyo because this part or this discriminant expression came from the quadratic formula. We have x is equal to negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And this is our discriminant. So ang gagawin natin dito, we will set our formula as d stands for your discriminant. That is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And then another part of our, de of our definition, sabi dito, when we say discriminant, it will tell us the number of the number and the nature of roots na meron tayo in a quadratic equation or quadratic function. So elaborate natin yung ating definition. I have here a three column table. So first column natin ay yung magsabi kung ano yung discriminant natin. And then for the second column, yun yung describe yung number and nature of roots na meron tayo. And then for number three is yung graphical way on how to represent our discriminant. So, we have here the first one, which is, if your discriminant is positive, ano bang ibig sabihin yan? Kapag daw yung value ng d mo, or yung discriminant, is greater than 0. Ang ibig sabihin yan, you have two real roots. Again, if the discriminant is greater than 0, meron ka raw dalawang real roots. And then, if the discriminant na makuha natin, is equal to 0, your d is equal to 0, automatic, meron ko lang isang root or one real root. Or, bakit isa lang siya? Kasi, yung dalawang makuha mong value ng x are equal. Kaya, double root tayo. And then, third one, if your discriminant is negative, so, how do we express that in mathematical way? If your d is less than 0, you have two imaginary roots or no real roots. At ito yung graphical representation. So let's move on to our examples para mas lalo nyo maintindihan yung purpose ng ating discriminant. So, we have here, find the discriminant of each quadratic equation and state the number of real and imaginary I got yung letter G dito. Imaginary solutions. So, dito, Para kasi mahanap natin yung, para malaman natin yung number of roots and yung um, kung anong klaseng nature meron ng roots natin, ang kailangan natin gawin is we need to solve the quadratic equation. ba? For us to find the value of x or the fa to find the value of a variable. Pero dito, using the discriminant, without solving the equation, is malalaman mo anong klaseng roots meron tayo. Is it real roots, double root, or imaginary? So later on, papakita ko sa example. So let's have negative x squared minus 9 is equal to 6x. So basically, since we will be using the formula, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac, it is important for us to convert first the given equation in standard form. Ito yung standard form natin. We have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Dapat ganyan yung form ng ating equation. Before natin kunin yung value ng a, b, and c. So, to convert or to write this equation in standard form, transpose on natin, or we can transform it as x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. Ang ginawa ko, I transpose x squared to the other side, magiging positive, and then your negative 9 magiging positive then. That's why we have x squared 
plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. And then, since you already have the standard form of the equation, we can easily identify the value of a. Your a is equal to 1. And then your b is equal to 6. Your c is equal to 9. And then after that, we need to substitute the value of a, b, and c to the given formula. So you have here d is equal to 6 squared minus 4 times 1. Substituting the value of a times 9 as the value of c. And then we need to simplify it. Your 6 squared is 36 and then negative 4 times 1 is 1, a negative 4, and then times negative 9, that is negative 36. And then simplifying it, 36 minus 36, that will give you your discriminant be equal to 0. Now, this is the value of your discriminant. And then according to the, to the given direction, we need to state the number of real number or kailangan natin sabihin ano yung nature ng roots meron tayo. Since the value of your discriminant is equal to 0, balikan natin yung table natin, meaning meron kang one real root. So, your discriminant, or the values of x, meron kang, lagi mo dito, one real root. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Kapag meron kang discriminant na zero, at ang yung nature of roots ay one real root, ibig sabihin, yung solutions mo, yung value ng x mo, are equal. So, paano natin, ito lang eh, part lang to. Uh, papatunayin lang natin or prove lang natin na tama yung nakuha natin sagot. So remember, we have here the standard form x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. And that is actually a perfect square trinomial. We can factor it bilang x plus 3 raised to 2 is equal to 0 or pwede siyang x plus 3 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. And by zero product property, we can equate the whole equation by 0, or the factors by 0. x is equal to x plus 3 is equal to 0, and then your x is equal to negative 3. Eh, parehas yung factors natin. Ibig sabihin, we can get, sige, equate ko na rin, x plus 3 is equal to 0, your x is equal to negative 3. Ayan yung ibig sabihin ng one real root or double root kasi equal yan. Ganyan yung itsura yan. If your discriminant is equal to 0. I hope sa first example pa lang natin, you can easily get the concept of discriminant. Let's move on to item number 2. We have here 2x squared is equal to 10x plus 5. So basically, you need to follow the standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c. Right lang that is equal to 0. That will be 2x squared minus 10x minus 5 is equal to 0. Then, get the value of a, b, and c. Your a is equal to 2. Your b is equal to negative 10 your c is equal to negative 5. And using the formula, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Substitute lang natin. That is negative 10 squared, right? Minus 4 times your a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 5. And then simplify the expression. So this is 100 and then, kung mapansin nyo, we have two negative signs. So, positive na yung product. 4 times 2, is, which is 8, times 5, minus, ano yan? 40. Tama? And then, your discriminant is 100 minus 40, which is 60. So, kung mapansin mo, your discriminant is equal to 60. Ibig sabihin yan, that is greater than 0. So, kung babalikan natin yung table natin, sabi dito, if discriminant is positive or greater than 0, you have 2 real 
roots. Ibig sabihin po niyan, magkaiba yung values na X na meron tayo or solutions na meron tayo. Okay? So, let's move on to item number three. For item number three, we have here 9X squared minus 3X minus 8 is equal to negative 10. So, this equation is not yet in standard form. We can write it as 9x squared minus 3x minus 8 plus 10 is equal to 0. Simplifying your, co your constants, you can get 9x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. And then, your a is equal to 9. Your b is equal to negative 3. Your c is equal to 2. Yeah. So using the formula, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac, we have negative 3 squared minus 4 times 9, which is your a times 2. And again, simplifying it, meron ka ngayon dito negative 3 raised to which is 9. And then, negative 4 times 9, that will give you negative 36 times 2, that is negative 72. And then simplifying, 9 minus 72, that will give you negative 63. So your discriminant is negative 63. Kung babalikan natin, if your discriminant is negative, yan ay discriminant is less than 0. Your D is less than 0. Therefore, if this is less than 0, you have two imaginary roots. Alagay mo rito. Two imaginary roots or no real solution. Ibig sabihin po niyan, yung values ng x mo ay hindi real. Okay? So, we have here three examples na sana nakuha niyo yung konsepto ng discriminant. Sa first example natin, we've got d is equal to 0, which is kapag 0 ang value ng iyong discriminant, automatically, meron ka lang isang root o double root. And then, for number 2, you've got d is equal to 60, and that is d your discriminant is positive and greater than 0, ibig sabihin niyan, yung nature ng roots mo, two real roots. And then, lastly, for number 3, we've got d is equal to negative 63. Since your d is negative, that is less than 0. So, ang implication niyan, or ibig sabihin niyan, that the nature of the roots or yung solution natin is an imaginary number. So, I hope natutunan nyo yung ating konsepto about discriminant. And, nag-prepare ako rito ng tatlong, ah, dalawang examples in which maging activity nyo in this type of, ano, video. I-include ko sa description natin yung sagot. And then, I will allow you to, ano, to comment down below your ano, answer about this activity. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.